deal or not. You know, and God will let you know if that's a good deal or not. And but the only thing, sometimes He might not let you know the same thing, and you might want to sign that deal the next day. You know, it it do you want to sign that deal, or you want to wait to get the answer from God? That's a decision we have to make. You know, do you want to make the right decision, or you want to just go ahead and sign that deal? You know, in the beginning of my storm, that's what I did. You know, and lost out on a deal. So that's why I'm more careful this side. You know, and got God more in detail in my life of what I'm, I'm doing. You know, I just want to jump, jump and do something. And, and you know, and you and you uh, and reading everything and don't know too much about what's going on. And you make the wrong mistake. You know, then it'll be too late. Because once you sign, you know, that's it. You know, you got to read con contracts, you got to you, you got to ask questions. You have to do the proper things that you have to do. You know, and when you when we don't wait on God like Sarah did, it was a total disaster. It was a total disaster. So if you show him run a land off the land. You now I need you to move. I need you to get her out of here. You know, because she she had to sell her over again, praying to God for a baby when she thought Hannah was gonna turn the baby over to her. You know, so that's the story um unshakable. You know, that the first part was the uh songs of seven and one. And then it had a background story on shakeable confidence. You know, you know um David had unshakable confidence. And unshakable confidence confidence it could be anything. Like you um getting going for a promotion, you know, and you feel like you're not qualified for you know, you gotta have unshakable confidence. You gotta have confidence that I can do this. You know, yeah, I, I got God. I can pray. You know, ask God to give me the knowledge and the discernment to um uh, to do this promotion. You know, that's unshakable confidence. You, you know, so David had unshakable confidence. You know, because he he knew he was gonna tear that giant down. You know, he could see had God in his life. You know, he always was um praying and praising God. You know, and once we connect to God and we pray to God about our, our life, you know, just like he, um, earlier on, I was reading about success. You know, your success comes from having God in your life and allowing God to guide us through our business, you know, uh, through our business. You know, and, and um, just like God had told on um, Joseph, when he had to take the, uh, the position after Moses had passed, he said, he said, do as I say. Meditate on this word, and you'll be very successful and prosper. You know, so you have to continue on praying. You got to read that word. You have to be connected with God in your business. You know, and then God said, you, you'll be successful and prosper. You have to meditate on that word. You have to have unshakable confidence. Don't be scared about the position. Be like, oh, I can't do this yet. You know, you got to have the unshakable confidence, you know, because God picked the weak ones, you know, to give them a big check. You know, Moses tried to get out of them. You know, Moses said, I don't speak well. Why don't you give that to somebody else? You know, and so God, God kept on trying to help him, you know, because God wrote that script out for Moses. You know, he didn't really want to give it to nobody else. So God said, okay, uh, you, your brother come along. And see, God pretty much don't like nobody else on our journey. You know, but he didn't want Moses to walk away for something that he planned for Moses to do. You know, a lot of people can say they can do it better. But if it's your purpose, you know, and God wrote it out for you, that's who you want to do it. You know, most of the, most of them making excuses. You know, I, I don't speak well. You know, I don't, I don't know how. I, he, he was saying, but well, how Pharaoh? You know, you know, Moses was just living over there. You know, and he ran because he killed one of Pharaoh's own people because they killed one of his people, and they didn't know he was a Jew. She was an Israelite. You know, so he just ran for that. He's like, how Pharaoh gonna listen to me? How Pharaoh gonna listen to me? You know, I don't speak well. You know, how he gonna let, he gonna let these people go when I say so? You know, he had lack of um, faith. He had lack of faith. You know, and so after God whooped it in him, you know, put it in his heart, you know, he did a good job. You know, he did a good job until he started showing off and hit the rock, speaking to, you know, God said speak to the rock. God didn't say hit the rock. 
you know so he started getting beside himself and just that's how some people get you know they get their promotion and they start getting beside themselves to get about god you know you know they feel like oh, i got it i'm a king i'm a master you know you got to keep the gun that, that's that's just like for me my bible gonna go with me everywhere i go on it when i start flying it gonna go wherever i go i'm gonna continue fasting and doing just what i'm doing now you know you got to keep that train going you know so that's all the word i have for you on today unshakable confidence come from uh, Psalm 701 you you don't have the same bible that i have they had the background stories you know so that's why i said this is a good study bible that i have you know so this um all i have for you today you have a nice and safe day and i see y'all on the next video